This is Tech Now. I'm your host, John Reed, also CEO of CAT Alliance. We recently brought together more than 100 thought leaders to examine issues and concerns in the area of cybersecurity. Our overall goal was to advance Canada as a leader in this critical business area. One of the constant refrains at the forum was the impact of cyber events on an organization's brand, financial health, and actually confidence in leadership. Let's listen to John Proctor, VP Global Cyber Security, CGI, and member of CADA's National Leadership Council, as he provides some perspectives on reputational Double risk. Uh, the board level, etc. Uh, it has uh, become quite a shock to them, the impact that uh, cyber events or cyber incidents uh, can have on them, their company, and even them personally. Uh, and I think that's, that's brought that uh, home to roost for many of them. When you have the board asking questions, are we secure enough? Uh, that's the question they're all struggling to answer, which is define enough. Um, and I think that's the key question they often ask us is, you know, how do I appear? What is my security maturity? What is my security posture? Is it reasonable and how is it compared to my peers in, my, in the same industry? Reputational risk, um, I think that's one the sort of you know, semi-quantifiable uh, piece like that. Uh, I think it's also, you know, when you look at reputational risk, it's also the C-suite themselves. You know, their reputation is aligned that they can deliver business securely. Uh, in this day and age, um, cybersecurity is, is a necessary um, cost. But again, how you balance that cost with your business and how you make it a business enabler is the absolute key. Uh, if you just look at cyber as a cost center, um, it becomes you know, financially challenging. If you look at what business could I do being as secure as I need to be, that's a, that's a way of looking at it differently. There is no silver bullet. I mean, they're, they're all hoping when you come in and sit in front of them, be they the CEO, CFO, or even the board, uh, and you help, they're hoping that you're going to present them with this magic silver bullet that's going to take all their uh, cybersecurity pain away. Uh, the answer is that doesn't exist. Uh, one thing I, I do see becoming more uh, common is the discussion's not about technology anymore. Uh, the technology, and again, lessons learned from Target, it's not about the technology. Um, the technology was telling them what they needed to know. They just didn't have the process or the people to interpret that and react accordingly. Uh, and I think that's very much the discussion now, which is, you know, it's not about the technology underneath. And we have many examples of when, you know, we've done our sort of discussions with clients. At no time do they ask us, what technology are you going to use to keep us safe? They want to know what the SLAs are, the KPIs are, the incident response plans, the incident handling, 24-7 procedures. They, they care all about those, much less about what technology is underneath. You know, there are actually government department brands on here. You know, if you're a government department and you have a data breach, you don't look so good anymore. Why would you know, the public feel comfortable giving you their data if you can't you know, provide a, a level of security on it? So there's even you know, government level brand here in terms of security. But certainly in the commercial sector, uh, that is very, very relevant uh, in terms of the brand. Um, and I think the other thing is, is going back to, which is we talk about it, which is it's about planning. Uh, it's often about you know, what happens when you have an incident. Um, there's a lot of, you know, speculation and lots of talk about it saying it's not about whether you've had an incident, it's whether you've detected it happening already. Um, there is a little bit of, of you know, certain truisms in there, but I think the key there is really, um, you know, how do I make sure that when something happens, a cyber incident, and whether it's a large data breach or something small like a laptop's gone missing or a USP key that may or may not have anything specific on it, what are your incident response plans and how do you respond to those you know, in the timely manner that really mitigates the risk that you are really now exposed to. And I think that's one of the key facts that we see over and over again, which is a lot of uh, organizations just don't have the cyber response capability that they should have. Mm -hmm.